Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Access Magic with Team Eternal, and today I'm going to show you a Roma Installer 2.56. Um, this is an installer that is uh, for Android custom ROMs, kernels, themes, and apps. Um, basically, what this is is a uh, an open source project. Um, you are able to use it for if you use it for a ROM, for example, you can add custom features to the ROM, clean stuff out of the ROM. Basically, it'll give users a uh, a unique experience when installing a product. Um, uh, it's very useful and I highly recommend it to anyone who's not using it yet. This is the thread um, by Amros Rules. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. Um, he's a, the, the creator and developer of a, a Roman installer. Um, well, if you go on his thread you can download the, uh, the installer itself and customize it to your likings. Basically, what I'm going to show you is what it is, how it's used, and what you can do to the installer itself. Um, and if you like it and you want to see it in a ROM that you have that doesn't currently use it, um, you can suggest it to your, your chef and uh, have him bake it in. So, uh, I already have the actual aroma, the untouched version, on my uh, HTC One X. So, I'm going to boot into uh, recovery real quick. All right, go and lock the phone first. Alright, so while that's doing that, um, let me go more in detail here. Uh, Aroma is is very nice. It works on, I'm pretty sure it's on almost any device, at least any device that has a HDPI higher screen. Um, um, and what, what it lets you do is you can add options to uh, to a ROM basically. Like if if a ROM, if you if you download a ROM without this custom install, like the old school ROMs, and it has a lot of apps that you don't use. Uh, this can help with that. Like the chef can make those apps optional, rather than have them all built in, all all flash at once. Now you don't have to go and uninstall one by one later on. You can just do it right from the menu before you even flash your ROM. Same with kernels. You can your chef can actually add kernels to the installer, and as you're installing your ROM, you can select what kernel you want. If you want overclock, you want stock uh, themes. You can add themes to the aroma. So if you want if you want like an ice cream sandwich theme on your gingerbread ROM or your or you want an AOSP theme on your sense ROM uh, the, the, the chef can bake it into your ROM as well and and go from there you know you can uh, you can add remove bloatware um, add desense options where it's if, if you have a sense ROM but you don't want sense uh, you can have an option to remove sense right off the bat um, I'll, I'll show you that later today I have a ROM already like that um, and stuff like that so uh, I'm going to pretend I'm installing a custom ROM that already has this installed. So, I'm going to select the aroma. And it has the ability to add custom splash screens. So, you can your, your developer can change that. Um, it has language support, multi-language support, which is really nice. Um, actually, the touch screen on 2.56 is really, really nice. Um, he did a really great job on this. It is very responsive, and you don't have to configure it per phone no more. Before, you had to calibrate the screen um, and change, you know, a bunch of settings to get just right. And it'll still be kind of, kind of buggy at the time. So it lock up, or you hit something, or you hit something else. Like if you hit next, sometimes hit back, and stuff like that. So it's really, really nice right now. He really did a good job on this. So um, I'm gonna hit next here and show you some of the default options. You can change your themes. Uh, it, it does have the MUI uh, or MIUI, ICS, uh, MIUI 4 and Sense themes, and generic of course, uh, in the installer so that the chef can can pick what theme he wants or make a custom one if he wants to. It uses the same images like uh, Android uses. It has like the dot .9 PNGs so it has little black boxes around all the PNGs so it resizes per screen so it's generic. It, you know, it, one thing works for all pretty much if it's done right. Um, so I'm going to use generic for now. Um, then it has the ROM info right there. So the person can put like the version of the ROM. He can put like the uh, the code name if he had a code name in beta for his ROM, the release date, and so on and so forth. After that, um, you have your terms and conditions, which the developer can change these out and put whatever he wants in here for his ROM. Um, 
or kernel, whatever. Except those hit next, then you have your change log. Um, and there's a special format in the aroma itself that lets you change the boldness, the color of the uh, text. Like it says, it's green right there, and it's like dark black. It's kind of faded right there. So you know you can really customize. It's really nice um, with the change log. And I'll also show you that too. Um, so okay, back to English. Demo ends here. All right, and then here's uh here's the demo. Here's the front demo here has a bunch of categories okay so like here's the installer demo and the ROM developer can make a couple of categories here with default where it's a it's a pre-selected um, setup so if he has it to where it installs all the applications all the mods whatever he wants um, automatically you hit default typical is a recommended feature so he can have I guess maybe a slim down version or something so I'm just basic for you minimal uh, it could be like just a light version of the ROM, you know, um, where you hit that, it will install just a certain many of apps or it won't install this many apps and so on. Custom, which we're going to do, is going to let you choose what you want to install. So, there's your kernel options right there. Um, so he can add kernels to here and, you know, whatever he wants if, you know, if he has them. Uh, boot animations, you can change the boot animation you want installed. So here you can select your input method, which is the keyboards. So if the developer has custom keyboards, you can add them here, uh, cameras, and so on. So basically what you can do with this is you can add a bunch of different apps to the list if you wanted to. Um, you can add a bunch of custom apps, you know, Nova Launcher, um, music apps, whatever you want, you know, the developer can add to this and make it a lot easier for the users to customize their already custom ROM to how they want it without having to add extra stuff remove extra stuff so it's really neat um, the next page is customized installations um, this is basically the same thing you, know, you would select the apps you want installed you know you have your 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 uh, it's the same thing as the previous menu pretty much you know you select what you want to come with the ROM this is basically stock apps pretty much um, so if the ROM you know the ROM usually come with Facebook twi and Twitter and Adobe and if you didn't want those installed you just uncheck it and it wouldn't be installed when you flash your ROM um, same goes with the widgets. It's like here you have your radio, your contacts, and all other stuff. Um, not all ROMs are the same. Not all ROMs have this. Uh, it all depends on your phone and, and uh, software you're using. Um, there are skins also, so you can change your skin to what you want um, if the developer adds more skins to it. After that, um, there's the install menu. It says ready to install. What we're going to do is go back to the main menu again. And we are going to do system info and this tells you all the information about your phone the model number the CPU the memory um, the SD card and all that stuff like that so it's really neat there um, you got more information here about the phone about directories um, with only SD card for example um, what's currently on the phone itself so it's got a lot of neat stuff in here um, this here is um, a text demo it tells you all the formats you can use like when you do your change log for example or you're doing your um, info about the phone or about the ROM it shows you all the codes that you can use in your text documents for the installer uh, the dialogue demo, alert demo, is like a pop-up. The okay, and a confirm confirmation demo. And then the text dialogue, which is the little pop-up text there. Okay. Um back to sequence demo. Uh, data demo where you can okay you can mount you can mount your SD card or whatever you want to do okay uh, fonts so so you what what kind of fonts it has in here different languages and so on 
and the other demo. There's reboot, exit. Do you want to reboot your device? No. Exit? No. So it's got it's got a lot of nice features in this Roman installer. Um, if you're not a developer, you can't really do much with this. Uh, like I said, you have to download this package here and configure it to your likings. Um, I want to show you. Actually, let me go back here and reboot my device. Exit. Yeah, I mean, exit the aroma. Um, let me show you what I have in mind, for example. Mine's real basic. I don't have a lot of stuff in my ROM because I have actually a standalone um, Nocturnal Tools, which is a really bloated aroma, which has options up up the, you know, for anything you think of pretty much, you know, themes, apps, kernels, and all that stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you a basic one real quick, how it looks when you customize it. So uh, there's my uh, my information from my current ROM. Of course, the uh, the uh, terms and conditions, uh, the change log. As you can see, it's all blue and it has little dots next to it, you know, and has the bold headers, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> I have mine pretty basic, where it just asks you if you want to do a clean install or you want to do an upgrade. Uh, what GPS you want because on my ROM since it's GSM it, it's used all over the world so you can select your GPS configuration and help uh, lock, lock on them satellites a little quicker. Um, select apps to remove so it's not a lot in there but it's basically this simple. My ROM's already slimmed down anyway but it's just apps that people use uh, and some people don't use so you know you got stocks, locations. This is a sense ROM by the way. Um, you can do a full bloat and then remove extra languages if you want to also. Um, there's also a desense option. Since it's a Centrum, there's an option to, to remove sense, and you can do uh, the MIUI style sense, where it removes all the sense and leaves the launcher for MIUI. iPhone, which looks like an iPhone pretty much. Uh, Windows 7, uh, Windows Phone 7, which gives you the tiles, and then Nova Launcher is like, you know, uh, AOSP looking. After that, that's it. It's installed now. And there, that's, that's it. So, I'm going to quit installation. So let me show you some of the uh, stuff inside the room itself. Um, basically what you would have is your meta folder and then inside that you have your Roma folder, your Roma config, your update binaries and your installer and your update script. The Roma config is where you would configure the Roma itself which you just saw on mine. Um, you could change the name of the uh, the aroma when you when it pops up, like right there, it says it says uh, test 2.56, the maker, what device is for, and the date, which basically that pop up you saw on the phone earlier. Um, and then you can add all your all your apps right here, all your options, your fonts, and so on and so forth. So that's the wrong. It looks kind of complicated, but once you read it up, it's pretty really really basic. Just make sure you don't have any typos or it never work, and you won't know what the hell's going on. Uh, inside the Roma folder, you got your demos, uh, basically what you saw inside there. Um, your icons for all the categories. Let me just move this a little bit. You got all your category icons. Uh, your language files, so you have all the different languages right here. Uh, your splash screen, so if you you clicked on that, as you can see, it moves. So he has his setup where it does that, you know. You can you can change that um, to whatever you want if you have an animated splash screen or not. Uh, there's your themes right here, and as you can see inside here is images, and you get your P9s. So basically, what that is is you look at it. It's um it's this little black box, these little black lines around here, and what that does is it tells it how how it's supposed to stretch for any screen. So you can use some multiple screens, not just one. Um, and then you have uh. Your, uh, your license text, which is your term and conditions. And you have the change log. And if you look at the change log, you can see all the code there. Just like a, it's like a, pretty much like, like a HTML style code. You know, you have your B for bold, 
and then your your forward slash b to cancel you know to finish the code and and stuff like that so um so that's the change log and that's how you can format them you know make it make the headers bold and you know change your fonts and stuff like that and um, your sample PNG which is your splash screen which you can also rename it to splash wherever you want and that's also in the Roman config um, after you do your own config you would have you do update your installer script which is um oh man um, which is pretty much another process there but it takes time to get all this done I recommend if you do use your Roman installer for the first time to just do a basic setup just have it install a ROM first uh, no options really and then go from there just so you know it works so you have no problems because when you do like a bunch of options at once and something goes wrong you don't know what it was that you did wrong and it's really hard to find it could be a headache so I recommend if you get the own installer remove all the options just add install now and then slowly add more options until you get the hang of it and then you can write a whole you know a whole 10 page script if you wanted to but I recommend doing one at a time um, so yeah, so this is the Aroma Installer for uh, the Android phones. Um, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Uh, this is Access Magic with Team Eternal. Thank you for watching.